Hey y'all, so I've had such a great morning so far to kick off the Sunday reset routine of today's video. I did want to jump in here and just say hello if you're new. Hi, my name is Cameron, Cameron with a K. I am an attorney, content creator, a YouTuber, and entrepreneur. With my attorney hat, I also do a ton of consulting. That is primarily what I do at this moment. And I help influencers, entrepreneurs, and content creators navigate the influencer space when it comes to contracts, brand deals, partnerships, all those things. Quick little spiels if you're new. So I actually had a creative idea, like a video idea when I was listening to the podcast. So that's why I was like, pull out my iPad, started taking some notes. I love just, I love my iPad. I just recently got it and I'm an iPad girl, okay, <laughs> period. So I'm just kind of looking over what is the to do for today. I'm going to start to make a list for what I need to get from Publix, what I need to get from Trader Joe's. I need to re-up on flowers because these are RIP. But I've been loving getting fresh flowers during the week. Oh, I don't know. I love it. Anyway, also I did want to add that this reset routine, it varies, okay? I don't do this exact same thing every Sunday. Sometimes it falls on Saturdays and if you'll notice, like I'm not doing any laundry. Well, I think I'm going to put some laundry up. But I'm not doing a ton of cleaning today, which I usually would, but I did most of that Saturday. So it kind of depends. Sometimes I do half on Saturday or all on Saturday, all on Sunday. It kind of depends. But this is kind of like a, a little overview of what I do. So I love doing meal planning for the week, especially when I don't have HelloFresh. If you don't know, I love HelloFresh, period. HelloFresh is so convenient, but I'm taking a little break just because I feel like when I get to a place where I'm not eating all the meals, then I know... It's time for a break because you, you're wasting your money. You're wasting your money. I have worked with it before, but I, I pay for the subscription at this point. So, yeah. I need to make a meal planning list and all that. And I actually have this really nice way to do it. So, let me grab it really quick. Hold on. Stay there. Don't, don't move. Okay. So, I actually keep this on my fridge. And I got this from Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below. But it is so just easy. It makes eating during the week so much easier because I am so busy. be a downtown girl they said yeah but i'm so busy during the week y'all as you can probably tell attorney contributor youtuber it's a lot i'm juggling a lot of hats which i love also a blog contributor um but yeah so i just like to take a note of this and i will literally bring this to the grocery store the list over here you can rip it off and all that but yeah so i'm about to just plan my meals and finish my coffee mm -hmm. mm. and then i need to get ready because I don't do too much on Sunday unless it's like brunch Sunday. Okay, sometimes I love a good Sunday brunch. Um, but I really just need to reset today and just get ready for the work week. I have some traveling and stuff coming up, which I feel like I've been a super traveling girl, y'all. So y'all gotta make sure you subscribe for these travel vlogs because I have so much fun. My mom's birthday is coming up and all that. So this today, I just really wanted to kind of reset, resurface and get things together. So let's meal plan for the week. I will say I do love using HelloFresh. Um, like their meal ingredient template type thing. Um, so when I want some ideas, I'm actually gonna do that. I love this one. I don't know if I'm gonna do it though, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So yeah, these are the two. This one is so good. So I'm definitely gonna be doing this one. So I have, they give you the ingredients and how to cook it. So I'm just gonna go buy the ingredients since I don't have HelloFresh this week. And then I might do this one as well. These are like my two favorites so far from HelloFresh. Okay, so let's make a list. Oh, I need a pen. Also, my handwriting looks like a 13-year-old boy who has never taken any handwriting classes. So, uh, but I'm gonna let y'all zoom in. Come, come on, let me get, come on. <laughs> y'all so i'm dressed it's several hours later part of my reset sunday means relaxing so i've been kind of just chilling this morning enjoying some me time these pants i love but they are so long which i also kind of love but they're even long on me and i'm five seven they're from dana bolden's line but like i'm just gonna get them hemmed but for now you know what it's just gonna get bunched up anyway but yeah love these they're so comfy it's super hot though so i'm like I'm wearing these, I gotta wear basically nothing on the top. So I have this bodysuit from Zara and I just have my Louis Vuitton bag to try to, you know, elevate the look, probably do like a little. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Perfect, little crossbody moment. Cute, little casual day out. <laughs> Gonna run some errands. My hair looks a mess. I kind of think I might put it in a bun. Actually, I might do a high bun real quick and set this ponytail because I feel like the ponytail is giving More than enough y'all I don't even want to tell y'all how much I spent but I did get part of my mom's birthday gift so that's good making a quick detour to Ann Taylor <laughs> Okay, y'all, so <laughs> we made a little detour um, to Ann Taylor because I've been wanting to go in there and they have some really cute springy colors. So I got a few items, nothing crazy, but I'm trying to motivate myself to do more fashion content and just to get more creative and I need to like go through my closet, swap some stuff out. So that was good. Um, up next, we have Trader Joe's. I did want to go to Home Goods, um, but I think I'm going to wait on that because yeah, so. Up next is Trader Joe's and then Publix. And then I think we're done. Oh, I got my little grocery list. I actually did end up ripping it off because I was like, that'll just. Child, we got so many books. No, let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, y'all. So <laughs> I feel like I look crazy. Um, that was a success. Clearly, I bought like five books. I had to get like all of Colleen Hoover books. Then they had like buy one get one fifty percent off with this mystery series I wanted to try. So that's what we did. Um, so we're putting the books in the car and then going to go to Trader Joe's. I'm about tired of spending money. But I've officially became a Barnes and Nobles member, so I can get a discount. I'm trying to challenge myself to read more, so this is perfect. But yeah, up next is Trader Joe's. Let me lock the car. Door. I'm good. How are you? Earth was in Publix. Y'all, I'm so excited. So I think I'm gonna get the fresh, I wanna do fragrance reef. I'm gonna do the fresh linen. The dryer laundry detergent like sheets, but I guess I already got the scent with that. Mm. I guess I'll do the scentless. Okay, y'all we have made it home you guys are a little low should i put y'all on a book or something hold on let's do a very quick haul shall we if you guys care um let's start with Trader joe's we up on flowers and i also have like this little greenery in my bathroom i figured i should swap that out every so often so i'm going to swap that out as well also we have frozen mandarin orange chicken which i'm cooking tonight I also tried and trying their frozen vegetables. But I love their mandarin orange chicken. I feel like I didn't really show y'all, but y'all seen it before. And last but not least, you should know by now, I love the spiced chai. This is like the best. 
I didn't get muffins this time, y'all. If you're not new to my channel, you know how much I love the coffee cake muffins. But I think they be tearing my stomach up, y'all. I don't know if it's the cream cheese. I don't know, but like I ate them, my stomach was hurting. Then I stopped eating them, and my stomach wasn't hurting no more. So, mm. all right, moving on to Publix. I love Cottonelle. I use their wipes as well, and I also love their toilet paper. It's not my fault. That is pretty much it. So I'm gonna put all this stuff up and um, probably do a little montage when we do my flowers. I need to take this cart back downstairs, cook some dinner, and that's pretty much it for my reset. Oh, I know you guys wanna see what I got from Ann Taylor. Should I show you on this vlog? Okay, y'all, um, it's been a few minutes in real time, but I figured I was gonna show you guys what I got first, then do the flowers and then start cooking, but Let's start with, can y'all see? Let's start with Ulta Beauty. Some stuff I can't show y'all because it's for my mom's birthday and I don't know when this video goes up and I, I know she'd be watching my video. So, I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I really needed the big one, but they didn't have it and I was out. So, do what I could. <laughs> then I also re-upped on my Tula Body Moisturizer. I am obsessed, obsessed. Did I say obsessed? I love this stuff, so re-upped. I also re-upped on my Dermalogica cleansing gel. <laughs> Couldn't think of it. Love that. Y'all already know I'm a Dermalogica girl. Um, also, Dermalogica pre-cleanser. I was out of this for a while. Can't wait to use that. Then the other two items. Sorry, I can't show y'all. Barnes & Noble, I went crackhead crazy, okay? Let me show you two non-Colleen Hoover books and then the other two. So, they had to buy one 50% off, so mm -hmm. how could I not? I saw um, Carter Sullivan, I think is her name. That's horrible, I've been watching all her videos. Anyway, I think she talked about this book, The Silent Patient, so I got this one. It's a mystery thriller type book. Another mystery thriller type book is The Perfect Marriage. They both sounded really interesting from the quick little snippet on the back, so I'm excited about that. Then I got all the Colleen Hoover, okay, no. I really wanted to get more, but I was like, Cameron, you just started back reading Don't Get Crazy. So I got Remember, this is her newest book. Remember, Reminders, child can you read? No, you can't read it. Cover the book, you trying to read a book. <laughs> I got Reminders of Him, November 9. Everyone said this is like so good. Like if I loved It Ends With Us, as if y'all watch my beach vacation trip vlog. Why can't I get out? 38 trip vlog with Catherine. I read that book in like a day and a half, literally. It was so good, I could have read it quicker. But yeah, like this, people say is like even better. Though also I got Verity, I think is how you say it. The font is funky, so, but it's really nice. I heard this is like more of like a thriller-esque than her usual romance novels type style book. Um, there was mixed reviews on this one, but I was like, I like thriller, or I like Colleen. I'm probably gonna like the book. So I think I'm gonna start on November 9 because everybody says that's like the good. Then we made a spontaneous trip <laughs> to Ann Taylor. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I went in there and I got some stuff. So I have this same top in like a yellow, I'll move this, way. this same top in like a yellow printed, yellow black white printed color. And I love the style of the top. So I got it in this like Bottega green. You know, this is very in, very on trend. It's just like a V-neck style long sleeve, but it's only one button. So it's kind of a low cut, really, really nice. Then I also got this super cute skirt. I hope it fits. I sized down because it was stretchy, but now I'm like, Cameron, what were you thinking? I don't know, but it's super cute pencil skirt in this gorgeous spring-esque color. Um, and then I also got these super cute linen wide leg pants, like super cute. Also, I feel like I could have went down a size on this one. I got a medium, but we're gonna try all that on, not in this video, but I'll try that on later. You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace. Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me Yeah, I'm always wrong I knew 
you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy Easy. I've been thinking lately Lately it's you You stole your peace Put it on me But baby it's you Lying like a rat But take your stuff back Baby it's you And I would never hear You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you You stole your peace Put it on me 